That's all I do, stack it up. Grind. That's all I do, stack it up. Hey, welcome to Space Lane, you heard? I match the pain with what we smoking. Raw made hustlers on my block stars like Billy Ocean. Dope money. If the alphabet boys know what we gross, and I have a bedroom and Folsom, but I'm all short yeah, toasted. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We doing a quick Walmart giant. I left the Walmart game delivery. Stripes, y'all left with opinions. We watch the money clean. I only got all the way to farming down. But how could I can't shit fix the death of a sibling? Loading up my shit. All right, so we here, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing a... Uh, a delivery yo it's supposed to be like 50 miles right so i'm doing this walmart shit and it's got like 12 different uh spots but it's a lot quicker than instacart so i said you know what i'm gonna do this shit it's paying good and then once i do this joint i'll get my incentives sometimes they be handed out incentives incentives, incentives to get extra money when you accomplish a certain amount of things. like i'm not the one to compare and contrast but walmart is far better than instacart but instacart's more consistent as far as my location goes they just opened up in Farmingdale, so it's lit, you know what I'm saying? But it's still slow, like, I don't know, it ain't that crazy, like, it's not a lot of traffic. Alright, we here, I'm over here at the Walmart, you know what I'm saying? They got like a delivery platform, kind of like Instacart, but way easier. It pays a little bit better. It's just not consistent out here, or out here in a good old Long Island. Like they just got a new location out here. But you know, I'm out here doing this one. There was one that had 50 miles total in driving, like 12 different orders, yo. But here's the thing, right? They bring it to the car, so you don't have to go in and shop like Instacart, which is why I like it far better. Because I think that it kind of um, puts me in a better place as far as ratings go. Because sometimes customers on Instacart, like, they'll just give you a bad rating because they ain't, you know what I'm saying? Because they just not happy. Like, even if you do do everything right, sometimes they still just give you a bad rating complaining. But here, it's like everything's already prepared, everything's already done. All you got to do is get in your car and go. But for real, no, like, I like delivery driving far more than a regular nine to five like nine to five just wasn't for me and i'm not saying that to say like i'm above that shit like if push come to shove and i had to go back and get a job like i definitely do it without a doubt but you know thank god that you know they got delivery services now where you can actually make a living unlike uber eats where they pay you three dollars to go 10 miles oh uh, but you know what i'm saying you can make a realistic living i feel like where I'm at trying to build my car business up, trying to build up space land. It, it, I like this because, you know, it still gives me the freedom. Like, I can be in and out of the crib, you know, and still make my money to take care of my bills and shit like that. So, I can't complain, right? Like, the 9 to 5 shit is like, I, I just could not take it, man. And, and, you know, like, I've had good jobs and then I've had bullshit jobs. I just don't like the whole management, you know, like, bro, it used to be sick to me. pretty sure I'd have a job. I'm 98% sure I'd have a job because you know you gotta have money coming in. But 
like, yeah. So this joint's got like 12 different stops. So I think I'm like, yo, fuck it. Like, we here. I'm gonna do this shit, see how it plays out. And the tipping is crazy. Like, people tip really good when it comes down to their grocery shopping and stuff like that. I don't know what it is with Uber Eats, why they don't want to pay people for real. Like, which is crazy because they bought Postmates, to my knowledge. And I think Postmates was probably one of the best paying ones. But I remember doing Postmates when I was in Virginia. They would pay like double what Uber Eats was paying. I don't know, man. And I tell you right now, like, ain't nobody getting in my cars. I, like, I've, I've watched them, uh, what is it, Dustin is driving? The videos he be putting up, man, it could not be me, yo. I couldn't. Someone gonna be arguing with me in my car, this shit's not happening. And it's not worth it, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not worth the violence or arguing or getting out of character and shit. Like I said, thank God they have this. So I'm gonna wrap it to the first stop. See what the, hell. So the first stop is weird because then the notes it says don't deliver on weekends. And it's clearly Saturday, so I'm not sure if they knew that or what, but I don't know. But we're gonna make this we're gonna take this little quick run. We on to the next. God damn it. Yo, and like the cool thing about, like I said, with the driving joint is, you know, I can manage other incomes too. Like this ain't even my only income. Like this is just like out of everything that I'm doing, like this to me is the most footwork, I should say. Like a lot of the other stuff, I can just stay at the crib and do, you know what I'm saying? But you know, and it also like another thing I like is that I can get out the crib. I like being in the crib, but sometimes, you know, you in the crib too much. And COVID definitely uh, fucked me up with that shit. Like, you just being in the crib too much with nothing going on, nah. It made me realize that you can't really be all that antisocial. So, you know, this is cool. Like, I get to get out the house, move around, you know, kind of do a little sightseeing on the way. You explore a little bit. Like, you even, like, with the delivery job, you go places you've never even been, right? You're not, you know, you're getting paid to do it, so. Okay, whatever, man. Go with tax deductions and all that. The only downside with, like, you know, independent contract, and it's really what they call it, is that you don't get a tax return at the end of the year. You actually have to pay taxes. But if you, you know, go with financial literacy, you know how to manage money, like, you'll be all right. I think the one of the hardest things as far as driving and keeping it that way is money management, right? Because, like, realistically speaking, you know, with a job, it's a fixed income. You know what you're going to get. You can plan out your weeks ahead of time as long as you go to work and don't get fired. With driving and, like, you know, running a business, essentially, it's not the same thing. So, you know, you kind of have to be prepared in advance for a bad week or a bad day or even a bad month, you know what I'm saying? But shit always, it always fluctuates, so that's one thing about it. So usually you can fight the storm if you've got money sitting on the side or you don't spend a lot or you're really good with budgeting. You can manage those bad days. I'm not gonna lie to you, like I've been doing this for two years, two, three years now. And I did, I haven't had a job in like, like a nine to five in like, like a year now. Like my last job I had left. I had quit or whatever because shit was too much, yo. Like, it was too many different personalities and I was in a warehouse, you know what I'm saying? So, for me, it was like, I could I just couldn't do it, yo. No windows, strict uh, rules, wake up early. You know, I used to wake up at 6 a.m. and be there until 4. Don't get home till, like, 5.30. Like, shit is crazy, yo. And then your whole day gone. So, essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to sleep. You ain't really got enough energy to do anything, especially at the warehouse, the distribution center jobs, because it's so much work. Like, filling up trucks, unloading them shit, short-ass break. Like, shit, is, that shit is crazy, yo. We had two breaks. We had one that was 15 minutes and one that was 30. I mean, that, that sounds ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it almost felt like jail. Like, but, you, you know, I got paid well, though, but... 
I just knew I didn't want to do that shit forever. So, like, some people, that's all they got. And again, I ain't judging, I ain't knocking. I think everyone is happy, should be happy with the life that they have. Like, if you don't really care to pursue a business, or you ain't really got any much of like a, a business mindset where you want abundance mindset where you want to go and do something great, like, you really not at fault for that. So, I guess, you know, a job that pays well that you could do for like 20, 30 years. It's also just as fitting, you know what I'm saying? Because you can definitely afford your bills that way. And you can buy a house and do stuff like that. So you're not really losing. I just felt like I couldn't do it. And I, I told myself that I was like, and you know what? You know what really made me quit was because, right, the mixed energy and then looking like I would have my Walmart, Instacart apps on sometimes, right, throughout the day just to see how busy it could get or what it was like when I was at work, right? I kid you not, my phone was going off, yo. Order here, order there, order here. And then like, you know, some days like I looked and I'm like, yo, realistically speaking, I could make like $150, $200 a day. And I'm not talking Uber Eats and the food delivery service. I'm talking Instacart and Walmart. You can make like $150 to $200 a day, even on a slow day. The thing is, is, you just have to be, you have to get them, you have to wait around for them, like, and, you know, I, I, I seen it happen for, like, a couple of months at a time, and I was just like, I'm out of here. If I know I could pay my bills and be responsible, then I really don't need to be here no more, especially for what I'm trying to do with my life, and, you know, that's, that's how I got here. So it's not that bad, like, you know, people are gonna have their negative opinions about it, as they should. I mean, not everyone's gonna have a good experience, but I think the giant cool, man. So I can't even believe I only got like 14 minutes left on this SD card. Shit, definitely gonna get full. I just caught the GoPro 9 the other day. I got the little clip set up. I don't know if I like the GoPro or not, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I feel like for what I, you know, what I'm trying to do, you know, recording in the car for a little bit, I think it's perfect, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna see how it looks after I upload these videos. Cause like I said, from what I had played back, the sound seemed like it was a little low and I feel like I'm talking kind of loud. So hopefully, hopefully I can do something with it. Hopefully, um, you know what I'm saying? I think if I was gonna keep driving as far as driving and building my business together, I would think that I've probably got about another year and a half of doing this. Cause I make good money, so it's not like, you know, but I definitely wanna move on to better shit. As far as, you know, I really do wanna get to a point of where I'm like restoring cars full time. Cause you gotta think, right? You sell one car, you know, for a couple grand, you're set for a good minute, you know what I'm saying? You've got at least a month's worth of income, so you sell a car a month, depending on, like, if you sell a car for three, four grand, you do that once every two months, or once a month, pretty good, you know what I'm saying? And then you just work your way up, start buying more expensive cars that got a bigger flip to them, should be good. So I want to get to that, you know what I'm saying? But for now, I try. I can't complain. And like I said, I don't really be fucking with nobody. 
I ain't got no girlfriend or nothing like that. So, you know, like I said, me to be out and about for a little bit, really not a bad thing, you know? And you meet people on the way. And I think, I think I'm at a point where I do want to socialize a little more. But here's the thing, right? I only want to socialize with people who are going to offer something. And I ain't talking financials. I ain't, I'm just not, like, I'm just not going to be chilling with motherfuckers for free. You get what I'm saying? It's just not happening because like, people, like I said, they they try to give me a look up and down. And they try to depict the kind of person I am. And it's like, yo, I don't got time for this shit, right? Because I don't carry people a certain way. I carry them for who they are and that's it. I don't ask for motherfuckers for nothing more than what they are. You know what I'm saying? Because I got all my own shit. I'm saying I ain't going to ask you for rides. I ain't going to ask you for money. I ain't gonna ask you to buy me shit, all that crazy shit. But I feel like where I'm at now, like I want to hang out with people that I can learn from. You know what I'm saying? And they can learn from me. You know, we could just be cool, talk, get money type shit. Like, yo, you'll be surprised, yo. A lot of people ain't about money like you think they are. A lot of people just want to look and feel rich. They're not really about actually collecting, collecting checks. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I, I found myself in situations like that where a motherfucker would be more focused about impressing women than actually having the funds to impress them. My fucking mind boggling. Like, and those are the kind of people that bring you down. Then you got the people who, you know, they just hide behind their ego. They just want to be the coolest person in the room with nothing, with nothing to offer. I've seen it with my own two eyes. There's a, yo, there's a dude who, uh, back in Virginia, bro, like, his ego is through the roof, yo. Everything was just like, I'm the best, I'm better at everything and everybody, and all of this shit. I'm just like, bro, if you looked at his life, you'd realize that's not even the truth, but, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I don't judge nobody, especially with my reflection. I definitely ain't judging nobody now. You just, you just gotta understand that everyone's different. So, all in all, I need to just be around people who move more like I do. And if, you know, there's any faults, any uh, any cracks in the cement, as I should say, then I, I would be more than willing to learn how to patch that shit up. You get what I'm saying? But niggas need to get money together. Niggas need to actually be doing shit. Like, business partners, you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily with my business or with anyone else's business, but like we come together to mastermind. Like, niggas ain't with the mastermind this shit, bro. You realize a lot of people just want things handed to them. They don't really want to work for them. And I'm not trying to find success to be rich. I'm trying to find success so I can be happy and find peace. You know what I'm saying? Do things like travel. And, you know, like I said, I want to really explore a lot of cars. I really want to build them. There's a lot of dream builds that I want to have. Not necessarily keep, but even sell. Like, there's a lot of cars I want to get my hands on. I could care less about being rich or trying to impress a woman with money and stuff like that. Because the reality of it is if a woman likes you, she's going to just like you. They ain't going to really care how much you got. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have money coming in or you shouldn't have a secure job or some sort of stability, but you know what I'm saying? If a woman's only talking to you for how much you can give her, then, I mean, that that in itself says volumes, right? Yo, what's going on? Yo, I just had to get me a coffee, man. Yo, fucking, that drive, that drive was like an hour and a half altogether, almost two hours. I was just going stop to stop, did that shit. I was like, I need some coffee. Look what I came across, yo. Fucking Beyond Meat Jerky, 7-Eleven, yo. I ain't see these in all of them, so I think, I don't know. Maybe they, it's brand, I mean, this is my first time seeing it, so I'm assuming it's brand new. It says new on the bag. Beyond meat jerky. So I don't eat meat at all, right? I don't eat beef, chicken. Um so this girl that I was recently dating, but it won't like no serious shit. She had got me back into eating seafood, but I still don't eat it a lot. 
Like, I eat it, but I don't eat a lot. But I don't eat beef, pork, or chicken at all. You know what I'm saying? So, this beef jerky was one of the few things that I felt like I missed out on. Because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I don't eat beef. So, now they got Beyond. So, let's eat that. Look like the same shit, I mean. It always looked the same. It never really looked too different. This is teriyaki flavored. Then they got an original flavor. Now, I'd be lying, right? Cause I can't say if it's say like beef or not, right? Cause I ain't eat beef in like three years. But if I remember finally, you know, beef jerky got the smoke taste to it. Ah, oh, god damn. It's dry as fuck. Hell yeah. What should I eat though? I'm starting to realize I don't like hot coffee for real. I don't know. Like, I think it's having an effect on my body. Like, like coffee, like, I like, I don't really like iced coffee because I'd be feeling like it's just more sugar than anything. But, you know, hot coffee, I think what it is, I can't be drinking it, like, mad hot. Like, that shit is mad hot. I think I got to let it sit for a little bit. No, no, I'd be feeling like my heart be beating faster drinking that shit, yo. But not because it's a caffeine, but because it's hot. Like, I don't know. This is good as hell, man. Like, you know, just being outside, man. Because like I said, I was working in a distribution center. And them fucking windows, no windows. It would be hot. Like, the summer, it would be extremely hot. And then the winter, it would be extremely cold. Like, it won't even really no AC or heat or nothing. Like, that shit was out of pocket, man. And that shit stresses you out, man. You just become angry. Some people, like I said, when that's all you really have, you be, you'll become an angry person after a while, man. Getting tired of that shit, man. Because it's not exactly laughing. You know? But everyone's human at the end of the day. Let's see. That distribution of shit was crazy though. Like, you know what made you know what makes jobs really the worst is the people. It's not even not even like when even now as I'm talking about how crazy it was, even looking back on it, like it was the people that made it ten times worse. Like I'm because yo, like so here's the thing, right? I don't know if it's just areas that aren't cities, like areas where it ain't much going on. Like, so I lived in Virginia, right? And I plan on going back, but you know, I'm not there now, but I lived in Virginia, uh, Newport News, 757 area, right? Now, Newport News, Virginia Beach. Yeah, those are like the two main spots, right? The Newport News area and the Virginia Beach area. Those are the more city-like areas. And they're nothing like, like Manhattan or Queens, you know what I'm saying? Like, it still has the country effect to it. So when you start going to places like Suffolk and Portsmouth and, you know, Chesapeake, which Chesapeake's a nice area, but it's not a city-like area. It's very suburban, a lot of land, that type of thing. So you start getting around people that ain't got shit to do. They ain't got nothing better to do with their lives. They're bored, you know what I mean? Like, they pretty much grown up with a quiet life. So, you know what I'm saying? To people like that, a good paying job is all they need to feel like the fucking, to feel like a local rapper in the neighborhood, right? So a lot of these dudes will come to the job, be gossiping, be talking shit, be just, you know, talking about the next man and shit. And then you got the women who come and they want to fuck everybody and have people, have niggas turning against each other and shit. The women be gossiping. You know, it's like you can never just come to work and work. Like, everything was always about, you know, like, but it was almost like, think about it like this, right? 
in high school you got the people who came who just wanted to do their work and go home then you got the kids who wanted to be the class clown they wanted to run around the hallways talk to every girl every girl wanted to talk to every guy like it was essentially like school school and jail put together and i say that because it had the <laughs> the jail like features with that with the people the work was like featured like a jail almost and it was like a school because of how the people were acting like you know what i'm saying so i couldn't do that shit motherfuckers used to gossip and like you know there would be people who would come in there and all they would do the first thing they do six in the morning they talking about the next person i couldn't do it bro like i'm like you know I ain't about to say act like I'm the coolest nigga on the block, man. But, yo, I literally go to a job just to get my paycheck. I really could care less about being friends with motherfuckers and shit like that. I made friends, but all that gossip and shit, man, that shit was way past what I wanted to do with my money. And, you know, when you're around people, that's all they got. It's like, you can't even be mad at them. I just knew that I needed better. Better for myself, you know? And this is the direction I had to go. And so far, I'm happy with it. You know what I'm saying? And it really, like, I know a lot of people don't look at delivery driving as a real job, per se. Um, even I know I've even met some women, right? They're like, oh, you do Instacart? Like, with the screw face. Like, like you work, like you flipping burgers or some shit. But, you know what I'm, I've seen, you know, I mean, you know, that's just, I guess, the people, some people you bump into because I've seen, people in relationships doing Instacart together. Like one person, be, like the dude would be doing it and the girl be tagging along. So not everyone thinks that. But you definitely got people out there that look at it like it's not a real job. Listen, anything that brings in money is a job. Or I should say brings in money on a consistent basis. You know what I'm saying? Like you got jobs and you got gigs. You feel what I'm saying? Where you get paid once here and there like if you do it. But, I mean, shit, you getting paid to use your car. And see, you know what I benefit from? Because I actually work on cars. So if my car breaks down, I can just fix it. So I guess, you know, when people say you put wear and tear in your car, that's another thing I guess you got to look forward to is making sure you don't fuck up your car. But I fix cars. So I guess it works out for me. Delivery number two. Me, I love cars, so I could drive all day, honestly. I mean, I realistically don't, but I could drive all day. Shifting gears, chilling. I mean, my wagon ain't like my ST, but this is the car that I use to essentially do it. It's the car. Like, I ain't going to be driving around in my ST, you know what I'm saying? Catalyst downpipe, big ass exhaust, stiff ass ride, a balance shaft delete. That car is loud as fuck, you know? So I. Really ain't been trying to do that. Uh, okay, we got another delivery. Hard cause the bread important. I go hard cause the bread important. I go hard.